All right, today we're going to create a frequency separation action to retouch your images. Let's get right to it. Photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video. All right, so today we're going to do a frequency separation action and then we're going to retouch this image. All right, so first thing you're going to do is to pull up your action panel. If you're not seeing the action panel anywhere here, you just go to Windows and click on Actions. All right. Normally, I mean, most times we don't use any of these actions. So what I'll do is to just remove them. All right. So we're going to clear Actions. To start creating your actions, we have two type of actions. We have an 8-bit action and we have a 16-bit action. Right. So when you're um, creating your action, you have to. Well, it is good to, to create two actions, an 8-bit and a 16-bit, because sometimes you'll be working on an 8-bit image and sometimes you're working on a 16-bit image. I like to work on a 16-bit image all the time because it has more information in that image. And if you shoot raw, you know, 16-bit is the best for you to edit your images, all right? So right now, this image is set to 16-bit. Uh, if you'd like to change the the, the bit of the image, uh, what you'll do is to go to image and go to mode and then click 16 bit or six, uh, 8 bit. All right, so right now we're going to do well, I'm going to edit this image in 16 bit, but I'm going to create the, um, the first frequency separation action in 8 bit. All right, so let's go right to it. So the first thing we're going to do is to go down to this little um, icon here and click it. This is a create set icon. Um, you can name this frequency separation. Okay. And then we're going to go to uh, this icon here. And it, it, it is a new action. So we're going to create frequency separation 8-bit. You can, I'm going to call it red. And then I'm going to start recording. You can also use a function key. Uh, any one of these key to pull up this action. All right, so I'm going to record. So when you're recording, everything that you do is going to be recording here. So you have to ensure that you're following the steps perfectly. All right. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is to create two layers. So you're going to drag it down to here to create um, to create a new layer, and then you're going to name them. The first one is going to be high. Frequency, uh, and then the second one is going to be low frequency. Sometimes I create a new layer here. Uh, you can call this um, tone. Sometimes I use this layer to, you know, blend out the skin using the brush and sample the skin and blend out some uh, certain sections of the skin. All right, I might show you in this tutorial as well, if I need to. But um, yeah, so we create both of these. What we're gonna do, we're gonna work on the lower, or the low frequency layer right now. We're gonna hide this, the high frequency layer, and then go to the low. We're gonna go to filter, uh, blur, Gaussian blur. Um, this section, it all depends on the type of image that you have, how sharp your image is. You, you want to ensure that when you're, blend, when you're um, blurring out the image, you don't see any um, texture in the image, basically. And I think 10 works for this. But you will have the option to do whatever radius you want. So I'm going to do 10 right now. Um, in order for you to select the radius that you want, you have to click this option right here, right next to Gaussian bar. So what will happen is that it will stop right here, and then you can uh, select the radius that you'd like to use. All right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click the high frequency layer now. Then I'm going to go over to image and then apply. Oh, sorry. You have to ensure that you select the high frequency um, layer. Go to image and then apply image. In the apply image section where it says merge layer, you're going to select the lower. Um, I'm always saying lower. The low frequency layer. That's this one. You're going to change blending option to subtract. 
um, the set, um, the scale, sorry, is going to be 2. Offset is going to be 128. All right. So we're going to click OK. Right now, this is showing gray, and you can't work on this image. So what you have to do is to click on the high frequency layer and then go to the blending option and select linear light. Good. So you can now retouch your image. It, has, it is a good thing also to put them in a group. So I hold on on uh, shift and then click the low frequency layer. Then I'm going to click control G. Oh, you have to ensure that you're not, this is not a highlighted right here. So come back and click both of them. Then control G, put them in a group. Then you're going to name this frequency separation 8 bit. All right? Open back this layer, click on this one the lower layer and then stop so it's finished now <laughs> you're done all right so I'm gonna delete it and try to um, apply it all right so click on this and press play so see it stopped right here for me to select the radius that I'd like to use if you want to use 34 um, if you want to use 1.1 Anything you want to use. I want to use 10 for my image. And remember, we're working on an 8-bit image, all right? Then I'm click OK. So the first thing we're going to do, basically, is to start working on the lower layer. So that's the reason why I click this one. So once you go to the mixer brush, you have the lower layer to work on. All right, so I'm going to delete the frequency separation action on the panel here, and then I'm going to try to apply it, all right? So once this is selected, you come down here to play. All right, so you see it stops right here so i can do the gaussian blur at whatever radius i'd like to do it at click ok now it's applied so now what i can do is to start working on this um lower uh low frequency layer um using the mixer brush so we're not done yet let me delete this again i'm going to create the 8 bit um frequency separation action now all right so to do that you come down here uh to the new action um, icon ensure that the set that you're working on is the same frequency separation set that you created before we're going to name this action frequency separation 16 bit um, you can well I'm going to do an orange um, color and then I'm going to hit record all right so what we're going to do now is to create two layers again one two then one is going to be high the other one is going to be low uh then i'm going to put on uh, a blank um layer here i'm going to name this tone and then we're going to work on the low frequency by going to we're going to apply the um glazier burr to it i'm going to work with 10 then I'm going to select the high frequency layer. I'm going to go over to image, then apply image. Then we're going to select the low frequency separation, our low uh, frequency layer here. And then we're going to invert it. Then we're going to go to add, uh, yeah, add for the blending. And then ensure that your scale is 2 and offset is 0. Then you click OK. Then we come under the blending option here and click um, linear light. All right. Then here is selected. So, you know, click down here, go back here. Then hold on on um, uh, shift and then click the lower, the low uh, frequency layer. Then control G. And then we're going to um, name this frequency separation um, 16 bit. <laughs> all right 16 all right, good and then you know just to click on the lower one so when you start um, it's easier for you to just start working on the lower one so this is done as well so we had two of them so we're just gonna well let me open it back right here and then I'm gonna stop it so now we have 16 bit and we have 8 bit but I'm gonna test it this is for some reason I don't like the layout of this where everything is like this so what I would recommend is that you come right here and hit um, button mode 
right let me pull this up a little bit so you have the option to click on either one instead of having the long list of um, um, actions there so we're going to test the 16 bit but first I'm going to change um, this to 16 bit um, where do I go again um, image mode and then 16 bit and then I'm going to click the 16 bit action good so now I can start working on this image so this video is only for creating the action for frequency separation and I hope you guys learned something new from this video so I'm going to do a new video now with editing this um, image thank you guys for watching and look out for the new video